Welcome back to another video here on Line Proud. So we are going to be putting a small modification here on the first gen, which by the way, if you want to enter to win this truck, you can at lmpgear.com, link in the description below, and I might even leave you a bonus code to give you some additional free bonus entries with your next purchase to enter to win this truck, plus the $5,000 in cash that comes with it. So hit the description, open it up, look, take advantage of the codes if they're there, enter to win, because this thing is freaking sick and it's about to get a whole lot cooler. At least. I hope it is. If you want to come check it out, it's running a stainless steel MBRP exhaust all the way back to an MBRP exhaust tip. And don't get me wrong, it looks great. I like it. But we're going to do a little start up, a couple small revs after the truck warms up for a couple minutes. And then we had somebody who sent us a new item that we're going to be installing on the end of the tailpipe here that was actually custom made for this truck. And uh, he just asked that we put it on there let everybody know how we like it and if we like it and then give them a little mention so we're gonna do that today the chickens aren't the biggest fan of the marsh man huh marsh Say cheese, you're not taking a picture. actually had this product sent to us full transparency this was a it was a gift slash sponsorship part uh, it's a guy on Instagram who reached out to me and he has started to make these custom exhaust tips handmade at home and uh, from what I saw on his page it looked pretty sweet he said hey you know he's like you know just if you'd like to have one to put on a giveaway truck cool if you like it all i ask is that you just link my instagram page that way maybe a few people might want to reach out to me and have them on made for themselves and uh, he can do them in all different color combinations sizes all that stuff and uh it, they looked pretty legit they look pretty cool so i went with a simple a more simple design is what i requested uh for this truck just because you know it's a simple set of pickup truck it's you know navy blue two-tone on a white truck and just want it to be simple clean so we're gonna get this opened up and show you what we got not only are his exhaust tips quality as far as i am told uh his tape of choice is really quality too. looks like such a hack job opening <laughs> i know that was probably the worst way to open this thing possible oh okay here we go oh, dude pretty sick Dude, he got one for each of us. Dude, he gave it. He got us two, man. Dude, I'm okay. what a guy. Not, I'm not even gonna lie. Like honestly, though, you can wear the flat brim. <sighs> you, you seem like a flat brim type of guy. You got the, you, dude, you got the mullet coming in too. I'm just saying. Here. I don't know how I feel. This here. compliment or throw it on backwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw this one on. Now I still believe that we have some of the highest quality. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> you just do I don't know. You said throw it on backwards. Yeah. You didn't specify that I need to take my other hat off. But, uh, I still believe we produce some of the highest quality merch out there. But you know, it's, I'm biased. I might be biased. But I'm going to throw his hat on just because he did give us this exhaust tip to try out. Freaking sick. I'm pretty sure I've installed an exhaust tip similar from an anonymous company a long time ago. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Dude, he even gave us a freaking... A sticker, man. It even gives a freaking detail. It's freaking Sweet. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. There's like just stuff in there. It's like, ah, oh, come on. Not the peanuts. Not the peanuts. Truck, truck, or chickens? It's a hard choice for Marsh. You want to see this, Marsh? Take a look around, man. Check this thing out. So, you know, these, uh, 
This is pretty sick. This thing is like so shiny, dude. How long it'll stay shiny, I don't know, but the thing is like blinding and shiny. Like, look, kind of look into that. Yeah. Oh! oh. Ah. <laughs> oh wow. My gosh. This thing is like. I'm dude, not gonna lie, I can't dude, see right now. Dude, your polish work is on point. I'm like. I can't even look at it. Literally, my eyes are burning so bad right Oh my goodness. My eyes are burning so bad right now. <laughs> it just hits you at the right angle it's sometimes. It's getting bad. Okay, so his company name is In Debt Fab. So if you want to check that out, it is, it's an Instagram only based company at the moment. Again, I'm pretty sure he's a one man show doing it himself at home. Just trying to, just trying to do a little something on the side. And these things are, this is pretty sick. And again, you can customize the color of the tip, the badging. You can customize it all different ways. But look at the fabrication work on the thing. It's pretty sick. And it's it's pretty lightweight, too. It's not heavy. Really? Which is nice because, like, when you get an exhaust tip that's just too heavy, sometimes it's kind of a, kind of a pain in the butt on the end of your tailpipe. It kind of, you know, makes it sag a little bit sometimes. If it's way too heavy on the end there. Um, what color this, is that badge? Uh, black. See, it was, it was a debate between black and having it match to like the two-tone color of the truck and he said he could have done it any way i wanted i could have gotten an all white one with wait is it is it black or is the color of the two-tone dude it might be the color of the two-tone i was gonna say i don't know i can't remember what we decided on that but like try to get up close in the sunlight look at the sparkle there's like a bunch of blue flake in it it might actually be the color of the i can't remember that's exactly what we is. had done uh, but I kind of hope it's the two tone color because I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like that. Regardless, Regardless since it's polished, you can almost, it, it can looks almost go like both it ways. Least. But anyways, he could have done it any way he wanted. He said I could do a white tip with you know the badge being the color of the two tone, or do the whole thing the color of the two tone with a white badge, or vice. I mean, there's a bunch of different ways you could have customized it. My eyes again. I keep getting it right in my eyes. It's so shiny. Uh, but we decided to go with either polished in black or polished in dark navy blue it, i really can't tell but the flake there's definitely blue flake all over in this it's pretty sick um but yeah oh. we'll link his instagram it, dude, it's, it's dude, really it keeps shiny. hitting me right it's just really right shiny. so we're gonna link his instagram down in the comment section below or down in the description actually go check him out on instagram if you want one of these things um let's get to the install and see how this thing sounds well marsh is deciding to relocate all of the flags and put them in his own spots. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice little cluster of flags by the entrance, huh? Marsh, I don't think that's how you use those tools, but. Daddy's yeah, gonna take the exhaust tip off. You wanna see? You wanna come check it out? Here, I'll help you down. Ready? Ready? Let's go check it out. Ready? One, two, five. five. Sit one, two, five. Look at that joker. Now we get this low quality MBRP piece of crap off. Yeah, now. Put that baby on. Yeah, this is gonna require a little bit of work. Um, we do need to drill three holes. And then it's a, it's a, it's a little bit more permanent style. It's not permanent. It's not welded on. Daddy. Well, if you ask like that, fine. <laughs> Make the screw gun. I gotta figure out where we want it. I'm not gonna lie. However it's on right now, it's kind of perfect. <laughs> well, good because. Good job, uh, dude. It kind of wants to stay right there anyways, honestly. It kind of like stopped itself. Because the exhaust hanger that was cut off is right there. Oh. Get on the back and tell me how much I need to rotate it so you can see the back. Right there? Right there? Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Cool, Bill. Put this charger. Yeah, why? I don't know. I know you want a righty, but... That's why I didn't want to bring you up until I was ready to go with. I got the first hole drilled. What I'm going to do, this is, this is literally so simple. Like, we got the first one drilled. 
I'm gonna put my bolt through and he comes with the hardware, of course. And you want it to be a snug fitment and that's how these are. If it's a sloppy fitment, your exhaust tip is gonna be a little bit sloppy on there. It's gonna rattle around, you don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna do that one finger tight for now so I can get the other ones lined up first. Because if you have one too tight, it's gonna make it kind of a pain in the butt to put the other bolts in. The way that they're shaped, they're more tapered on this side than they are this side. So, you know, it's kind of a cool design because you can see the badge in the back and all that stuff. And I like it. So now we're gonna drill our other two holes, get our bolts fastened up, get it in place. Take another bolt. I'm gonna put it there, finger tight. Sick. You know, I've had several people reach out to me about custom exhaust tips. I mean, there's just there's a lot of people that try to do it, and some of them are just not that cool, and you just don't know how to say it to them. But this thing's actually this thing is that this thing is nice. I like it. Yeah, like I like when I saw his work on his page, I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll take one of those. Okay, so we got our in depth fab hat on. We get the hardware for the last one, and I just kept, after I drilled the hole and made sure that it fit, I just brought it up here to size up what size wrench I'm gonna need for the nut, which is a half inch wrench. And I don't know what size this Allen head is, but it's a bit that I had with my kit, and uh, fits perfectly. So this is literally gonna be so simple. Pretty easy remedy though. The freaking exhaust is not going anywhere. Fitment is perfect. That is a four inch inlet, six inch outlet fab, uh, in-depth fab tip. So, looks pretty sick. I like that, looks good. And the stainless exhaust really matches up with that polished tip nice thing too. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, we'll start in a minute. So we got the new exhaust tip on there. Thing looks, looks good, looks great. We're gonna give this thing a fire up. Give you guys a little idling note. See how it sounds at idle. And then we're going to see how it sounds with a couple of ribs. Marsh just had to get his hands on something, you know? It's too tempting. You get on the four wheeler? Go get on the four wheeler. Go! Let's go. On the four lala. Let's go ride the four lala. Oh, four wheeler lala. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to check out those exhaust tips, they're freaking sick. Link down in the description below to his Instagram page. Feel free to place an order, send him a DM, <laughs> let him know that I sent you over there, and uh, I'm sure he will get you hooked up with whatever you're needing. So, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to get entered to win this truck because every one dollar is going to get you 20 entries to win right now. And a first gen plus five grand, a clean first gen plus five grand. Who doesn't want one? Um, the people that say they don't want one probably just don't know that they actually want one. LMPGear.com.